I picked this particular model of Airstream because of the huge fridge. This is where I put my photography equipment and the kids' school supplies. I mean, if you get a good night's sleep, then you're just more active the next day. I'm Sean. I'm Shannon. And this is our Airstream. Come on in. <laughs> So this is where we step in and we take off our shoes here. Um, I do want to add a little shoe rack, but we hadn't gotten there yet. Um, so this is our storage here. We've got blankets and pillows for the kids. We've got our heater. We've got like grocery bags. So love this. It used to be like a TV stand. It was old and dark and it was more rounded and it took up all this space. So we ended up deleting that and then he custom built this. We added this shelf. Love our wallpaper. Um, and then in these baskets here, we've got a bunch of knickknacks. This is our kitchen space. So I picked this particular model of Airstream because of the huge fridge. It allows us to like boondock for longer. And with two kids, we eat a lot. So usually this is fully stocked. And this is the freezer. We have plenty of space in here. So we put chalkboard paint on the front for the kids. They absolutely love being able to write. So we actually checked off each place when um, when we're traveling. So the kids love being able to track like where we are and learn with this chalkboard paint. Okay, so this is the original uh, propane stove. We love, love, love that we left this. I wanted to keep it as original as possible. We've used it quite a bit now, but love the stove. The cabinets are bamboo. Love the lighter color of the bamboo. They have held up pretty well, but I would say probably could do, do something more durable. And then we took out the uppers. I really wanted it to be more open and we have our plates and bowls. I usually put them up here and then got plants and we can put our snacks and stuff up here too. But being that we have plenty of storage down here, we really don't even use those very often. Love our sink, it's huge. Um, and then we replaced this, obviously. We're able to maneuver it around, um, which is great with kids. Then we have this custom cutting board that we can place here or we can move it here. This is a little uh, trash contraption. So it actually um, expands. And so that's really nice because we usually hang a trash can there, but whenever we're cooking and stuff, you can just like chop here and then put the scraps. And it's nice that it folds in and out. Okay, so this is our pantry. There's actually plenty of room even down here on this second bottom shelf. Um, but this we added in and we love this. This is where we store our smoothie, um, canned goods. The bottom shelf we have like soap, paper towels, things like that. We love our Nespresso machine. It's definitely worth it to travel with it. Um, we love a good cup of coffee. This little shelf we added here, I wanted to have a little storage um, over here. So we've got my essential oil diffuser and whatever decorations. Usually I have some oils and we're putting things here whenever we're traveling. For me, I just really wanted to do like the design of, of redoing an Airstream and having something like aesthetically pleasing, being a photographer. And um, so that was that was like a big reason why we picked the Airstream. It, it took quite a bit of research to figure out which model we wanted. Um, we wanted to have the bigger bed in the back. So that's why we went with the mid, the mid bath, rear bedroom. Um, took a while to find the right one. Um, we looked in Florida and Houston, and then we ended up with this one in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Um, we spent 14K on, on this one. It was all original. And it had been stored in a barn, so it really wasn't used at all. Yeah, like the, 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 the manual to the microwave was still in the microwave, and it had never been turned on or used. Yeah, so it was... It was like brand new. So yeah, I think they had just used it in the barn, you know, like for extra guests or whatever, but like people didn't cook in here or anything like that. 
Uh, so like without any of the labor costs, which is the biggest thing ever. Right, um, he did. Most yeah, I did the all the, yeah the work. So um, fourteen and then plus uh, what was it? Um, seven plus five plus ten. Yeah, so thirty-seven total, which is not bad because I've seen a lot of people throw like sixty into them. So, uh, but yeah, saving on labor is a huge, a huge deal. So, and we knew we were going to be able to get our money back out. of it. I mean, it's a labor of love, you know, at the end of the day and years down the line, if we do decide to sell it, we know we can get our money back out of it. So you can't really do that with any other kind of type of builds. So that's why we like the Airstream too. Yeah. For us, it was worth it to like modify it, how exactly we, we needed it for our living lifestyle. And like, you can't find someone who has the perfect office space for you, you know? So it was worth it for us to customize it exactly how we wanted it. One of my favorite things about um, this reno is this door here that I did because it was a solid plank door and it didn't let any light into this hallway so the hallway got really dark and we also use this as a partition for our bedroom and then keeping the kids separate and we have some privacy back there and like i said i added the rain glass so that's pretty sweet and then with the bathroom we did bamboo countertops like we did in the kitchen and we did a separate toilet a tiny toilet so it's a composting toilet with a pee diverter and we went ahead and deleted the black tank just because we weren't going to need it i custom built all the cabinets at the bottom because we had to rip it out because we did have um a tanked water heater in there a classic style so we went with the tankless and so i had to kind of reconfigure all that below there was a, a wood wall that separated the shower and the sink area but we wanted to allow more light into the shower so i used plexiglass and cut that to size which that was kind of a pain and trying to figure out all the you know a lot of templates back and forth um so that, that came out pretty good. And then also we put a mirror in there because the original uh, Airstream bathroom had no mirrors and that wasn't gonna work with uh, a couple of women in the, in the home. And then over here we have our um, closet. It's a big double closet for hanging clothes. And then we also have our container store divider over here, which we all have our own baskets. And then it has a nice cedar lining in the back. So that's kind of cool. And then also all of our gauges for our water tanks and our battery levels are all in here as well. All right, so and we also we replaced all the lighting. We went LEDs. This one is more of a softer white. This is kind of what we use on a daily basis. These really bright LEDs are they're touch sensitive, so you can turn them up and down. These guys are good for, you know, when you're trying to find something in the closet and it's pretty dark in there at night. Uh, but as far as just, you know, hanging out in the living room, whatever, we just use these soft whites. Under the bed storage, we've got this little door that Shannon made me put in. Uh, we never use it, but I guess you could throw some shoes or something in there because it's really easy to get underneath there. I can lift it with one hand, probably even a pinky. We have two separate storage on either side, which is able to, you're able to get to that from the outside uh, storage doors. And we wanted to keep that separate just because we do throw, you know, like sandy kids toys and uh, our camping chairs and everything, our little propane bottles and those little cubbies. So I wanted to keep that sealed off from the actual interior and to keep <clears throat> air flowing from underneath the bed. We've got a king size posturepedic bed, uh, which we need because I mean, if you get a good night's sleep, then you're just more active the next day. Again, we got our side lights on each side. We even have our own little, I don't know if you can see this, but our own little, uh, side tables that are also made out of cedar so we set our water bottles and our phones and so we charge everything on the side at night so that's really nice shannon's friend out of new Braunfels, uh we commissioned her to make us this little macrame chandelier for over the bed i think that's pretty cool everyone gets a kick out of that and then above we got our fantastic fan again with the rain guard and the temperature control um with our remote right here so that's pretty nice we love the big windows right here. And then when we park the beach, we'll back up and you just have the beach view and we'll kick open this window in the morning. It's so nice. We just 
just love traveling. It's just kind of a yearning that we've always had. And um, if I'm if I'm not moving, if I'm not traveling, then I start to like kind of like seep into like a little bit of a depression. <laughs> So like I growing up uh, when I was 18, like I moved to Oregon and I, I just started traveling from there. I've lived Hawaii, St. Thomas, Florida, Colorado, lived everywhere. So I just love traveling and exploring. And, um, and I've had an RV before, before we got this one together. And uh, I love, I just love the lifestyle and being able to just, if you get tired of your environment and you're the view, you just move. And then I think, yeah, we wanted to show the kids, you know, um, the world. Cause I think that's how they learn the best. Yeah, so we were both raised um, to travel, to to learn about other areas, and um, so I wanted to teach them that you know this little tiny like world that you live in is not the only thing that exists. Um, so I think it's just natural for both of us to want to do that for our kids. And the so kids the make so much, make, make, so make so many friends out on the road, which is awesome for them and awesome for us too, because we make adult friends and then the kids can go play and we can sit by the campfire and have wine. And Yeah, yeah. and you meet people <clears throat> from all different countries. So in Arizona, oh, yeah. especially in Utah, there was not one kid who spoke English in our camping sites. It was all other, like German, uh, Chinese, yeah. Mandarin. Um, they did get kind of frustrated because they, they couldn't talk to them really. Um, but them being exposed to that was really awesome. So this is our living space. Uh, we spend a lot of time in here. The kids actually sleep on the couch. What was originally here was a couch here, and it was a really cool vintage brown couch, which I wish we could have saved, but it was too rotted out. So we had to pull that out, and I needed a desk, desk area. So Sean built this beautiful custom desk area. There's so much space. Um, we homeschool the kids. And so down here, this is where I put my photography equipment and the kids' school supplies, games, and whatnot. We have plenty of storage there. And then we also still have storage here. We've got our Jackery there. Up here, we've got our storage. This was just wood. So we, we completely tore this out and replaced it with this glass. I wanted it to be more open. So I love this kind of couch because you can go like this and then this comes out all the way up. And this is where the kids sleep. So we've got one kid here, one kid there, or they can lay sideways like this. Um, super cool, because we can also do movies here. We decided to go with these pull downs because they're just easier to mess with. And they come all the way down and they're really dark. For us, like we can't sleep unless we have really dark coverings. And so this comes all the way down. We redid the floors. Uh, this is a vinyl plank flooring, essential oak color. Um, as far as heating and cooling goes, we typically chase the weather. So we're up in the mountains during the summer. In Texas, it's too hot. We do have propane option, but it's not working currently. So we use a space heater to warm up and then really cozy blankets. All right, so again, this 29 foot Sovereign Airstream. We've got some outdoor 110 outlets. Uh, we got outdoor storage out here for all of our camp chairs. We went ahead and painted this uh, black because it was blue and I wanted it to match my truck. Uh, so we look good going down the road. We still need to change all this blue piping. That's just uh, for a later date. You know, these things are always a work in progress. So our awning was in really good shape when we bought it. We bought it out of Oklahoma and uh it's blue so we still want to change it but uh i got that working again because the everything was kind of rusting and getting cruddy up in the mechanisms so we got that working and then we did go ahead and while we we're updating the outside a little bit we did all led marker lights all the way around all right so here's our uh our black tank and our gray tank we actually did delete our, our, our black tank because we have a tiny separate um, composting toilet. Our power runs from out the back right there for our 30 amp connection for our generator. 
Again, we got more outlets and uh, our, our fill tank. And then our rock guards are pretty cool because we have the like 180 windows up here with the rounded glass. So these protect our windows from any rock chips from the truck kicking any rocks up. And these are pretty pricey, but like well worth it because you can't find replacement windows once they crack or bust. And then up here, we got a propane. We had to run all new propane lines and a new pigtail because the other one was chewed up. We got two uh, 100 amp hour ba house batteries installed. These are the trays right here for them. And our electric jack, which I think is pretty original and it still works good, so. Thanks for coming along guys and uh, taking the time to watch our, uh, our little project here. We appreciate it. And uh, you can find us at uh, Wild RV Design for the uh, for all the for all that kind of stuff because we also build out sprinters and uh, campers and things like that. And then our family account is wild.free.family. And then I do photography, so Love Lake Photography is I handle.